Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the shop. It's uh, March. Take a look here. 29th, 2020. It's a Sunday. Just had to come out to the shop. It's probably one of the first times this year I've been able to get out here. <clears throat> We've had a pretty good melt. The uh, snow is finally leaving. I still got some three foot banks, but most of the grass is is uh, showing so <clears throat> that's always feeling nice uh, the shop flooded pretty bad I had two feet of water uh, coming inside the door and uh, so half the shop was had water on the floor but that seems to be gone now I got a little bit leaking through the wall here on this high side but what we're gonna do today is uh, get to work on uh, chainsaw that was dropped off. I'll uh, spin you around and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, this is what we got. It's uh, John's Red. Uh, 625. They don't know anything about it. It looks like it belongs to the uh, local power company. I do a few saws and stuff for them through the year. So uh, it's filthy dirty. Check the gas here. It uh, has a little gas in it. Um, the chain is about wore out. Got bar oil in it. So, should we give it a pull through? Chain is, it's bad. In fact, if I clean the teeth up, it'll be clear past the, the uh, mark at the back that's prepped to where everybody so I'll call them and see if they want a new chain. All right, let's see what we got here. Choke on, switch on. There is no primer button on these John Reds, or on this one anyway. So let's give it a try. I'm thinking they just wanted the chain sharpened and uh, I'll check the, and just kind of do a general service on it. Uh, rope looks fairly good. So uh, yeah, and uh, they may have wanted a new chain on it. I'll, uh, I'll give my contact a call and uh, see if they have other chains or if they want me to order a chain for it. So, uh, we'll start doing the service on it. We'll get the air cleaner and stuff out and do the spark plug. And so, this looks like it's going to be an easy one. So, I'll bring you back when I start tearing it apart. Got to open up some windows in here. Okay, I got my little chainsaw kit out. Got all the tools and stuff, so we'll just use a regular scranch 
get a view of it here. I got the door open so you might hear a little highway traffic with the uh, town shut down basically. It's a Sunday too, so there's not much traffic. But uh, I got my door open, get a little fresh air. It's, I did go into town earlier, and it was 48 degrees, so that was kind of nice. <clears throat> That's Fahrenheit, of course. dirty down in there. Just regular chainsaw mess. There's a little spot right here. That you just can stick a screwdriver in and just pop that open. In fact you don't even need to take the bottom off of the carburetor. So but I like pulling it off because it's still part of the air filter and you can clean up really good. We'll just blow that out with some carb cleaner. <coughs> Spark plug looks really good. I'll still run it through my uh, media blaster just and get it gapped up good. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll clean that carburetor. Get my pan out here. Grab a little carb spray. Just using regular old CarQuest carb spray, not a sponsor. I do have this little brush, it's pretty soft. Just kind of helps get the big chunks off. air compressor so I got air.
All right, that compressor finally shut off. We'll go ahead and try to put an edge on this chain here. I'm getting untangled. It's just damn near water right out. We'll put her over here on the old Harbor Freight sharpener. Pretty good little sharpener. I only do about uh, at the most maybe 30 blades a year. So it's just what I need. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of really dirty so we'll get the air hose here <clears throat> and we'll blow out a little bit of this sawdust. Just make it a little nicer to to work with. Okay, that's pretty bad. I'm going to go take it outside. Blow it off. Well, the sun's gone down and man, it got cold out there. So I think I'm going to put this chain on and uh, give it a test fire. Call her night. Says uh, just above freezing in here. So, like uh, 30, 34 degrees. got a message from my sister down in Texas, I think it was two or three days ago. She says it was 82 and she was getting ready to mow her lawn. So, kind of envious of her this time of year, but when it's 120 down there and we're setting at 80 here, and that makes up for it. All righty. That should be a bit other than just doing a kind of wipe down. Looks like it's been in storage for quite a while. You know, Unless they're trimming trees in the summer, the power company, I guess it doesn't get much use. All right, that's a pretty good spot for you. Okay, choke on, power on.
I'll just do kind of a quick cleanup on that. I'll give them a call first thing in the morning to uh, see if they want a new chain on this. All right, I'm going to call out a good one. Okay, well, thanks for uh, sticking with me. Kind of rambling here at the end. But uh, hope everybody stays safe and well in the times that they are today. And uh, you know, keep getting on, getting on. All right, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.